coming along onto a lake like this with a marshy edge, kind of a shallow lake, northern lake. It always makes me think about moose. This is the kind of place moose just love during the summertime. They can wade around the edges, eating all this lush greenery. It's like a big salad for them in the summertime. And moose also like to go out into the water. It's almost like they're half aquatic or something. They'll go out in the water, up to their belly, up to their back. The next thing you know, their head's underwater. And they're feeding on the vegetation down there in the bottom of these shallow northern lakes. Moose, of course, are always beautiful to see. I mean, they're just such a magnificent, impressive animal. And they always seem kind of to embody peacefulness, gentleness. But you wouldn't want to be fooled about that because Sometimes moose can have a very bad temper. This is a big animal, 1,000 pounds, maybe more, with those great long legs. They're not just built for wading through deep snow. They're built for defense. They use those big legs as a weapon to protect themselves against wolves and bears and stuff like that. I remember once I was going along in a river, a tributary of the Kaikuk River, up in northern interior Alaska. And we were setting fish nets the first day we came by. Here's a mother moose. Oh, it was a classic scene on the bank of the river with her two little calves just standing there peacefully watching us go by. The next day we came back to check the fish nets. And here was that same mother moose in almost the same place, but now she only had one calf. Something had killed one of her calves. Maybe it was wolves, maybe it was a grizzly bear, but she was in an absolute fury about anything that came around her. She's standing there, the next thing we know as we go slowly idling past, that mother moose runs down the bank of the river, splashes headlong into the water, and actually came swimming after us. So angry and upset and beside herself she was about losing that calf. And I kept thinking, man, if you were walking along the bank of that river and you stumbled onto that mother moose, you could be in a lot of trouble. Well, another, another thought comes to mind. In the wintertime, of course, the snow is going to pile up here. Sometimes it can be waist deep. That's a really difficult situation for moose wallowing around through that snow. They can't find food, they're hungry, and they're also extremely vulnerable to predators, especially wolves. And so the moose's self-defense is aggression. Well, I was coming down a trail with my dog team, and all of a sudden, straight off to my right, I saw a moose, young bull moose, hackles up, ears back. It saw this group of dogs, and it's safe to assume it identified those dogs as wolves. And the next thing I knew, luckily my dogs didn't see the moose. The next thing I knew, that moose was pouring out through the snow, full tilt after us. I jumped off the sled, yelled at the dogs, who luckily hadn't seen this moose, and they started to trot. I'm running behind the sled, madly grappling to try to get my rifle off there in case I need to defend myself, while this moose is coming out onto the trail behind me. My heart was pounding. The next thing I knew, the moose is out on the trail and it's chasing after us, but luckily, I kept shouting at the dogs and luckily we got far enough away that that moose apparently thought, okay, we've settled this and it stopped. So as beautiful as moose are and as wonderful as it is to see them and 99.9% .9 of the time, they're gonna either run away or just stand there and look at you. But it's important to remember that moose, if it's in a bad mood or in the wrong situation, can be a really formidable and really dangerous animal.